After years of discussion, the town of Naples removed the Eads Falls Dam earlier this month. That's a historic landmark built in the very early days of the town's settlement. News Center Maine's Caroline LaCour shares the reasoning behind the removal and what the demolition means for the future. Only stones remain where the Eats Falls Dam used to stand. A reminder of the past while environmentalists who won the battle to bring down the dam look to the future. 62 miles of the crooked is a pretty big chunk of the 300 miles of salmon habitat. Landlocked salmon have been thriving in Sebago Lake and its surrounding tributaries like the Crooked River for years. But Trout Unlimited project lead Jim Westcott says a state spawning survey conducted in 2014 revealed a problem. They thought they were going to find 300 reds the length of the river, 62 miles of the river. They found over 2,000 reds. While some of the salmon in Sebago Lake is stocked by the main Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife. So they realize the river's capable, Crooked River is capable of producing all the salmon that you would need in Sebago. One problem for the salmon population was the Eads Falls Dam upstream, which blocked 80% of their spawning grounds, sparking a years long discussion about how to protect the fish. The planning really started even pre-2019 and it has evolved along the along the way. Colin Holm is the executive director of the Lakes Environmental Association, one of the partners in support of the dam's removal. He says the town tried to remove portions of the dam to allow more water to flow. When they removed it, they didn't take that center portion down to the natural river base. If it's low flow, there's barely any water going across what the, the remnant that was here. So they would stack up below right below the dam. A town vote this June set the removal in stone. So by taking these falls out, they can access it when it's when it's available and they get to the spawning ground and complete the complete the life cycle and stock the lake. Although bittersweet for some locals, supporters of the plan say they hope in place of the dam, people and wildlife will find a shared space to enjoy and to thrive. There is some loss with the historical structure, but the gain is for the, the native landlocked salmon of Sebago Lake. Uh -huh. Project partners say portions of the split stone removed from the dam will now be repurposed in other local projects. In Naples, Caroline LaCour, New Center, Maine.